Well, this is the price of choice, model train. This is me in the, in the railroad room, so you can see what the place looks like. And uh, the railroad is a shelf railroad. It's 16 inches wide, and as you can see in the video, it goes around all four walls of the room. So anyway, this is the vice of choice, and uh, I have fun doing that. Well, this is a freight train running on the layout here in the basement. I'll do a kind of a quick turn all the way around the room. So I'll give you some idea what the layout looks like. I'm standing in the middle of the room and just kind of follow the freight train around. As I mentioned, the layout is a shelf 16 inches wide. It's 4 feet off the floor. And the room is 13 feet square. So it gives you about 54 feet or so of mainline run space. And we'll kind of catch the train as it comes across. This is the lift out for the doorway. It just comes out, but I very rarely lift it out since it's four feet off the floor. I just duck under. And there's the end of the train. And this is a crossing at the depot at Riverton. Okay, as you will notice, the crossing blinkers do work. And then off to the left of the road is a little motel, the Blue Sky Cottages. And this is the shorter of the two tunnels on the layout. And another grade crossing here on the layout. And a couple of SP trucks. We got a Kenworth and a Freightliner. And a later style of trucks. And then there's also a little 70 tonner sitting here. We use this in this industrial park as a switcher. And another SP truck. There's a loading dock behind this box car. This box car is my private road, the Oregon Central and Pacific. And then we have a Southern Pacific tank car at Ewing Oil. Mom's maiden name before she married dad was Ewing, so maybe I might could be related to old JR and his friends down in Dallas. And a couple of refrigerator cars at the fruit loading building here. And this is looking inside the engine house a little bit. Of course, there's one stall that has no engines in it right now because we've got the engines on the freight train that's running here on the layout. So this is kind of a view inside the engine house. 
We got a Baldwin S12 switcher inside here. I better push it off the magnet better. There we go. I think we can get it now. Some of the fallen flag to Oregon lines here, the Oregon Pacific and Eastern and the Union Railroad of Oregon. Neither one of these lines exist anymore, this one or this one, they're both gone. And the blue box car here, Amador Central, that's a railroad in California, it's gone. And the McLeod River Railroad is also gone. A little bit of a story behind the McLeod car here. Saw a real car in, in a yard one time, and uh, Roundhouse made this car kit. So I bought one and some decals from Harold King and got that busy and started painting and I don't even think my decals are dry and Roundhouse came out with the car already made up. And then this is Astoria Plywood, which used to be a plywood company in Astoria, Oregon, about 50 miles west of here. The building and everything is gone now. And here's a kind of a look down the yard as the switcher comes back in. The yard holds about 30 freight cars. The whole layout holds about 40 freight cars. And in the corner of the room here is the engine terminal. And we're going to catch the train on the lift out again, I guess. And this is the little other little town over here. It has three industries in it. We've got the Farina building and the Engelhard Chemical Company and then there's the railroad station with a house track behind it. So anyhow, that's kind of a tour of the, the home layout. And this is some of the SP elephants that I've got here on the bookcases. So anyway.